guys, welcome to another week of Kids Club. So glad that you are able to join us, whether you are joining us on Saturday, Sunday, Monday, whatever day it is, we are glad that you are tuning in. This week, we're gonna continue our series on the miracles of Jesus. And today, we are looking at Jesus healing a paralyzed man. Don't wanna to give too much away, but I will say this, the house gets vandalized. Eek. We've got games, crafts, videos, or songs to so sit back, enjoy, dance when you can, sing when you can, grab your craft stuff. We're going to have a great time. Dear Jesus, thank you for church. Thank you for Kids Club and all people who put together Kids Club. Thank you for all kids who are watching. Bring hope and help everyone to have fun in this hard time. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, guys, the first song we're going to sing is Jumping for God. Jumping for God, jumping for God, it's what I like to do, so I'm doing it for you. Jumping for God, jumping for God, it's what I like to do, so I'm doing it for you. We gotta clap. Clapping for God, clapping for God, it's what I like to do, so I'm doing it for you. Clapping for God, clapping for God, it's what I like to do, so I'm doing it for you. Now we're gonna whisper, whisper for God, whisper for God, it's what I like to do, so I'm doing it for you. Whisper for God, whisper for God, it's what I like to do, so I'm doing it for you. Now we're gonna shout, shouting for God, shouting for God, it's what I like to do, so I'm doing it for you. Shouting for God, shouting for God, it's what I like to do, so I'm doing it for you. Now we're gonna jump again. Jumping for God, jumping for God, it's what I like to do, so I'm doing it for you. Jumping for God, jumping for God, it's what I like to do, so I'm doing it for you. For our second song, we're going to sing another favorite, and that is Fruit of the Spirit. We're going to start with The Fruit of the Spirit is Not a Coconut. The Fruit of the Spirit is Not a Coconut. The Fruit of the Spirit is Not a Coconut. If you want to be a coconut, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the Spirit, because the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Okay, we're doing apple. The fruit of the Spirit's not an apple. The fruit of the Spirit's not an apple. If you want to be an apple, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the Spirit, because the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Okay, we're going to do a grape. The fruit of the Spirit's not a grape. The fruit of the Spirit is not a grape. If you want to be a grape, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the Spirit, because the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self control. Okay, we're going to be a bit more challenging. We're going to do watermelon. The fruit of the Spirit is not a watermelon. The fruit of the Spirit is not a watermelon If you want to be a watermelon, you might as well hear it You can't be a fruit of the Spirit Cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control Okay, we're going to do one more What's it going to be? The fruit of the Spirit is not a pomegranate the fruit of the Spirit is not a pomegranate. If you want to be a pomegranate, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the Spirit, because the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self control. Because the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self control.
Test your ears and see if you can name these sounds. From the book called Luke and it's about Jesus healing a crippled man. One day Jesus was teaching the people. The Pharisees and the teacher of the law were sitting there too. They had come from every town in Galilee and Judah and from Jerusalem. The Lord was giving Jesus the power to heal people. There was a man who was paralyzed and some other men were carrying him on a mat. They tried to bring him and put him down before Jesus. But there were so many people they couldn't find a way to him. So they went up to the roof and they lowered the crippled man down through a hole in the ceiling. They lowered the mat into the room so that the crippled man was laying before Jesus. Jesus saw how much faith they had and said to the sick man, Friend, your sins are forgiven. The Jewish teachers of the law and the Pharisees thought to themselves, Who is this man who dares to say such things? But an insult, what an insult to God. No one but God can forgive sins. But Jesus knew what they were thinking and said, Why do you have these questions in your mind? The Son of Man has power on earth to forgive sins, but how can I prove this to you? Maybe you are thinking it was easy for me to say your sins are forgiven. There is no proof that it really happened, but what if I say the, to the man, stand up and walk, then you will be able to see that I really have these powers. So Jesus said to the paralyzed man, I tell you, stand up, take your mat, and go home. The man immediately stood up, 
in front of everyone. He picked up his mat and walked home, praying, praising God. Everyone was completely amazed and began to praise God. They were filled with great respect for God's power. They said today was saw, we saw amazing things. Stories of the Bible. Jesus heals a paralyzed man. This is Jesus. Oh, hey -oh. Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. Jesus did many amazing things. He taught everyone about God's love, healed people from their sickness, and even calmed storms. The news of Jesus had spread all around and many people wanted to come and see what he was doing. No matter where Jesus went, great crowds of people would follow him. Jesus went to his own town and news spread that he was back home. Ow! Soon the house where he was staying was packed. So Jesus began to preach God's word to the people. Meanwhile, some men heard that Jesus was in town. So they decided to take their paralyzed friend to him to be healed, for their friend wasn't able to walk. Hey, excuse me. Huh? But when they got to the house, they couldn't reach Jesus because of the crowd. Oh, well. No! So they went to the roof uh, what? and dug a hole right above Jesus. Uh, we got this. Then they lowered their friend down into the crowd right in front of Jesus. Hey, everybody, how's it going? Jesus saw their faith, so he said, Son, your sins are forgiven. There were some Pharisees and teachers of religious law in the room, though, and they were horrified that Jesus would say such a thing. They said to themselves, Who does he think he is? Only God can forgive sins. Jesus knew what they were thinking, so he asked them, Why do you question this? Is it easier to say to this man, Your sins are forgiven, or stand up, pick up your mat, and walk? Uh, what? Jesus went on to say that he would prove to them that he was allowed to forgive sins. Yeah, I'm right. And so Jesus said to the paralyzed man, Stand up, pick up your mat, and go home. Uh, okay. So the paralyzed man stood up and picked up his mat. The entire room was stunned as the man walked out through the crowd. All were amazed and praised God, saying, We've never seen anything like this before. And they believed that God had sent Jesus with the authority to forgive sins and the ability to help the hurting. Have you ever had to take a different route to get somewhere? Maybe in the car? Or walking? Or on a reindeer? It can be difficult, can't it? You can feel as though you want to give up. In today's story, we saw a man and his friends take a different route to Jesus for help. However, we don't have to take a different route to Jesus. He is always with us, and we can ask him for help any time. Hi guys! For today's craft, we are going to be following along with the story that we've been learning about today. And so we're going to make a man on his mat. And just as Jesus told the man to get up and take his mat and go home, our little guy can come out as well. So I'll show you everything that you need to do, and you can follow along. Here are the supplies we're going to be using today. I have some scissors, some crayons, uh, something to write with or draw with, 
uh, glue and then I have four pieces of different colored paper but you could use just one piece of printer paper and then just color it the way you like. I just happen to have a lot of extras in my craft bucket of little odds and ends uh, so that's what I've decided to use today and this is a good craft for um, using those odds and ends if you have them. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take, uh, in my case, a white piece of paper and we are going to draw our little man. So I'm going to start by drawing his hat like that and then his face. Oops. And little eyes and a nose and a mouth. Now I know people can actually be really hard to draw so you just do your best and that will be great. I'm going to get his little outfit drawn here. There we go and then give him some arms and hands and then I'm also just going to add a little um, headdress here that was pretty common in the, the Bible times. And then I'll give him a little overcoat as well. One there. And then a little belt. And then when you're done, you can color this in however you like um, and then cut it out. And then I'm going to just add some shoes in here too. And then when you've colored it in how you like and you've um, cut it all out, then you'll have something like this. So that was mine. I like to keep my nice and simple colors, but you can do it as colorful as you like. And then after that, I'm going to take our brown, in my case brown, um, but you can, again, if you're just using a regular paper, you can just color it brown. And we're going to just draw, uh, sorry, cut out little strips here. Not too wide, but uh, probably just a little over an inch. And there is one and then we'll do another one here so that we have two strips of paper like that and what we're going to do now is we're going to take each of these and we're going to fold it into three parts so I'll show you what I mean we're going to fold this bottom part down and into the middle and then just make sure it's nice and folded there and then we'll fold the top down into the middle too. My paper is really thick and it's hard to push down. There we go. So we have one and then we'll do the same thing with the second paper. So again just fold it into the middle and then the top one we'll do the same. Fold it down and then straighten it out. And once you're done that you can open these both so that they're like that one and two and then we're going to take our glue and we are just going to glue the whole inside of this paper so that everything is covered in glue and you could technically do the glue first and then do the folds but I just find this to be easier and you don't get as much glue as um, on your fingers as you would otherwise so we'll do that and then once you have glue on, we're just going to fold it right back up like that. There we go. And then that should hold it nice and steady there. One. And then we'll do the other with this one. Perfect. Okay, so we have our two little wooden pieces that are going to be on the side of our mat. And now to actually make our mat, we are going to pick, in my case I'm using blue, um, a light blue and a dark blue. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out, um, we want to have some room on the top and the bottom. Uh, so I'm going to do about the, probably this whole length. And then just however wide you want your mat to be. So I'll maybe make mine about this wide. Just like so. And then this color I want to use as my blanket. So I'm going to make it just a little bit shorter. Uh, maybe about there. I'm going to cut some of this off here. And do that. So this piece here will be a little bit bigger on around the edges than uh, the first one. So what I'm going to do is take my glue again and about um, wherever that piece of paper fits. Again, you can see 
It's about there. We're going to glue on these three sides, just like that. And we want to leave this part open just so that we can um, keep that as a little pocket. So then you just take your paper and you press it on so that it's all the way around. And then if you have little pieces over the edge that are hanging out, there we go. Um, we're just going to cut that off. So I'll take my scissors here. And then this part here so that is all even. Perfect. All right, so there we go. And then we are going to take our glue again and flip this over. And then on the long side of our rectangle, we are going to put some more glue. Just like that, all the way across. And for this, you've probably guessed, we're going to take our little wooden pieces and we are going to glue those right on top like that. And I just leave some on the side, um, on each side, so it's about even. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. And then again, just press firmly so that it really sticks and it won't come off. And then when you turn it over, you have your little mat and you can decorate this however you like. So I'm going to just add um, a cool design at the top here, just because I know this is going to be a blanket and this will look a little bit more like a blanket, but you can use stickers or glitter glue. You can draw some cool drawings or designs. You can write your name, whatever you want to do. There we go. And again, if you're using white paper too, the fun thing is that you can color it however you want to color it. So that's always a nice thing too. You can make it a really colorful blanket or just all one color. There we go. So that's how I like mine. And again, you make yours the way that you like it. And when that's all done, then our little guy should fit right inside the pocket here, just like that. And just how in the story when he came out and Jesus told him to get up and take his mat, um, this should be able to help you remember that story that we've been learning today. So great job. If you want to post a picture of what you've made, as always, we would love to see it. And you can post it in the comments below. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you next time.
Gabriel's gonna pray. Thank you for Jesus and Eric to come alive. For Jesus to have love to you, to Jesus. Amen. 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 Bye. 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 Hey guys, welcome to another week of Sunday School at Home. This week we're going to be thinking about seeing God's face. Can you think of anything that shines brightly? Flashlight? Flame? The sun? Your face? Huh? The Bible says that our faces will shine when we see God's face. In other words, our lives are going to shine brightly with God's love to everyone when we realise just how much God loves us. Let's now take a quick look at the worksheets for this week. Preschool class, you have your Bible passage there. Using the oval, you can try and draw what you think God's face looks like, finish the different animal faces, and colour in those things that shine. On the second page you have your colouring sheet, and at the bottom an activity to do throughout the week. Primary elementary, you have your Bible passage there on the right, some questions to answer on the left. You've got to draw the animal faces in the boxes. On the second page you can build your own word search using the missing word from each of the Bible passages. Look up the Bible passage, find the missing word, put it in your word search, add a couple of extras, and then see if a parent or guardian can find the words in your word search. At the bottom, there is an activity for you to do throughout the week. So that's it guys, enjoy, have a great week, and hopefully see you soon.